Hey everyone, this is my first headphone review and you're probably saying Scott, I have watched and liked every one of your videos and they're all centered around gaming and you would be correct. And, and this one is too. Uh, these are the Hi-Fi Man <laughs> HE400 SEs. I don't know why I keep wanting to call these Hi-Fis. These are the Hi-Fi Man. Now, they're an open back planar magnetic Hi-Fi headphones that are made for listening to music and excellent for gaming. They have a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 hertz, impedance of 32 ohms, that means you can use it with a controller, and weighs in about 385 grams. Now, first thing, what is open back? Well, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. The cups are open and it lets the sound out around your head instead of closed and isolating the sound into your ears. For gaming, it means that pinpointing sounds is easier and sound distance is clear and more understandable, giving you a better like audible picture of your surroundings, so to speak. Basically, the sound is around your head instead of pumped into your ears. Now, you can also hear everything in the room. So if you have kids, it's great. So you can hear them open the fridge for the eighth time in an hour, or it could be bad if you have noisy roommates. Now, next, what is planar magnetic? Good question. Basically, normal headphones have a speaker diaphragm with a magnet in the middle to push the sound through to your ears, giving you a limited range of sound before it distorts. Not bad, just not getting the full array of sound that you could be hearing. Planar headphones use magnetic bars to utilize all of the vibrations without distorting, giving you a clear, more natural range of sound. And natural is where you're going to hear a lot in this review. Okay, but now we have to talk about soundstage. Now, what is soundstage? For headphones, this is the physical space that you hear the game in. And, okay, I know, let's leave Dolby anything out of the discussion. Let's leave Atmos at the door next to the Astros and the Turtle Beach headsets for pro gamers, okay? Now, when you are playing a game, you should be able to hear, or I'm sorry, you should be able to close your eyes until where everything is in the game even if you move around in the game. This is what 3D apps try to emulate. If you can't, and it all kind of sounds like it's shoved into your ears all at once, or if it comes to just like left or right, then your headset or headphone may not have a proper soundstage. Now, class is over. There will be a test at the end. Hope you took notes. So finally, with all that out of the way, let's talk about these. Okay. First, I love headphones. I stopped buying plasticky gaming headsets years ago and have never looked back. These I picked up recently as they are an inexpensive planar set that delivers excellent music listening and extreme comfort. So naturally, I played a shitload of games with them. And what I found was extraordinary. Now, these are the Sennheiser HD 560s. And I got them when I switched to PC last year. They're also open back and sound amazing for games and music. For a more isolated close back option, I use the Bear Dynamic DT770 Pro 80 ohms. These are really old and really comfortable. They sound great. Okay, but once I used these, it changed the way I perceived sound in a game. I know that sounds dramatic, but now, I'm going to try to explain sound by using words, and let's see how this comes out. With the 560S's, there's highs and mids and low sounds, like A, B, and C. And every time there is a sound, I hear A, B, or C, or a combination of these. Okay, that's an A, that's an A, that's a B, that's a combination of B and C, and, and so on. With the 400 SEs, everything blends in a way that sounds like you're there, natural and warm. Like the sound coming from the 3.5 millimeter goes through the cable and into the ear cups. It's given a big hug. 
It's given some hot chocolate, a plate of cookies, a knitted sweater. It's told how special it is, then released back into your ears. Warm, pleasing to your audible sensibilities. Now, when I get a new set of cans, I play Destiny 2 and Call of Duty because I know how everything is supposed to sound. With the 400 SEs, all the sounds blend in a way that is not so industrial like A, B, C, but natural. So this time I did something different. I played Skyrim and I stopped by a babbling brook. I closed my eyes. I could hear the water, the wind, the wind going through the trees, the birds, the screams, things on fire, people dying. With the 560s, everything sounded great and I could tell where everything was, but with the 400 SEs, I heard the same sounds, but more of each sound, if that makes sense. More like I was there, not listening to a representation of the sounds there. Ugh, this is an easy describing sound, so let's move on. Now, build quality. Metal band with a pleather cushion on the ears, or on the headpiece, sorry. You got uh, also pleather on the outside of the ear cups, and then on the inside, it's it's a suede material. These are very comfortable. And if you can tell, they actually are molded a little bit. They're not just round. They go on a certain way to fit your head. And for me, these are very comfortable. But, you know, comfort is very... It, it, your mileage may vary. Um, also, the cable is plasticky but it's very pliable I haven't had any issues with it at all it's not super long and I like the fact that they have two individual connections for the cups uh, otherwise you have one and then it goes through the headband and over to the other one and you have these cables that connect to them mm, much like this now there's not really anything wrong with that but for me that just opens opportunities for something to get snagged or pulled out or eh. plus if this snags it just pops off not very easily by the way and the cable is replaceable so now to sum all of this up if you're thinking of getting away from gaming headsets and want to upgrade your experience then I recommend these for $109 on Amazon these are hard to beat now yes there is no mic because this is not a headset but for a couple of bucks less than a premium gaming headset you could get these the Audient Evo 4 which I did a video on and the Fafine K699D XLR mic and have stellar gaming sound while also sounding better all the links below and that's it thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed my review uh, and if you want to pick these up, like I said, I'll put the link below. And these are just amazing. Just check them out. Go get them. Go buy them right now. Come back. Leave a comment. Let's talk about it and see what you think. So otherwise, have a great day. Keep gaming. I'll see you in the next one.